Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new Let's Play on Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. If you can't tell from the picture, we're going to be playing the Rising Eagles, which I'm pretty sure is the name. Unfortunately, it's not on the screen, so I don't actually know. Uh, the link will be down below if you want to go pick up the mod for yourself. It does require the Harmony extension, which is, uh, again, part of the Steam Workshop. So just go download those two mods, and you'll be able to play this mod as well. If you have any issues running the mod, please do check out the Rising Eagles um, Steam, for, uh, Steam, as it will tell you if you are not putting the things in the right place and stuff like that. Now, we're going to be playing a sandbox. Now, the general, the general idea for this campaign is to start a family... Um, and like actually, you know, marry, stay independent and be a mercenary for a while, you know, flit in between helping different factions um, and essentially set up a pro-imperial pro uh, line under our own generalship as uh, this game seems to base, uh, this mod, sorry, seems to base around the empire, em uh, later empire um, Rome, uh, not the, you know, the early empire, like more like the middle to late empire where more generals were becoming emperor and imperator and stuff like that. So we're going to be focusing on trying to become our own Imperator um, and astound, uh, founding our own, you know, little kind of rebellious empire to then correct the empire and restore the Calradians to light. So we're going to be doing it via Sandbox and it is Eagles Rising. I thought it was. It's a great mod. I did play it out. I did test it out myself. There are a few things that take a few minutes for it to set up and takes a... Uh, um, it may look like it's not working, but it indeed is uh, something I didn't find out you know, for the first few times playing, because uh, I was like, oh, is it broken? It wasn't broken, I'm just stupid. Though it did take me a while to actually get the mod to run. Uh, again, that's just like, I, that's my issue. We're not going to be watching that. We don't need to. Screw it. But these are the factions we can play as. We can say uh, play as the Titer uh, uh, Dritians, who don't have any stuff. Sturgeons, Calradians, uh, the Canetians, uh, the Sif tribes, and the Batani tribes. Um, so essentially these are, um, what I believe to be, um, like, they have hot plates, I know that much. Uh, but I'm not gonna read any of this, the only ones I'm gonna read is the Caradians. The Caradian Empire is in decline, before the suspicious death of Emperor, that's the, yeah, that's just the normal one. You bastards haven't changed it. Well, they're busy, they're busy making, you know, really cool mods. So, this is gonna be our guy. So we're going to be very, very tall, not as tall as I normally am, but we're gonna be built like shit brick house. You know, no, we are going to be quite tall. Arm shields. Yeah, we're going to be that tall. We're going to have that voice. And you know what? I actually kind of like the bog standard look. I am going to make him a little bit more pale. A bit more olive skin. Uh, let's actually do a little bit of editing for a change. You know what? I actually kind of like the exact look. He's got a very Roman look about him. Um, now we're going to be black haired. Um... I think I might just give myself the Roman fade, which is that. Uh, oh, I think actually I think I'd prefer that because it looks like I'm not balding. Given that we're going to be playing as a 20-year-old, yeah, we can't have that because it doesn't really look good with uh, our beard. Let's actually do this so I can actually see the texture. Yeah, that's more curly. I don't want that. I mean, I like the hair, but it's, it looks a lot more curly. It looks like it would be suiting. Um, you know, not uh, the palest motherfucker in the room. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go for we're gonna have to go for this one. It's the only one that really makes sense. We're gonna be wearing a bloody helmet, so it doesn't matter too much. Now, don't get me wrong, I love beards. Like, I'm really fond of beards, and I may give myself a beard later. But for now, we're going to do what a true Roman would do and go beardless. Though, as we are a general, we're going to give ourselves some scars, or at least a scar. Probably gonna give us, you know. What? Because I can see scars properly this time. I don't want an eye scar. Because right? I think eye scars are... As cool as they are, they're like... I don't want to have a one-eyed character. So I'm going to give myself this scar. Actually, no, no. Fuck it. We're going to give ourselves the Ezio lip scar. And this is our guy. We are, of course, going to now build ourselves as a character. To our family, we're urban merchants. Uh, the reason we can do this is because it gives me some charm. But it, most importantly, gives me some social skill. There are obviously all the other ones. Which, you know, look at that cool armor there. Uh, merchants. Merchants makes the most sense as I'm going to try and go for a patrician based uh, start. But they're urban merchants. It doesn't give me skills that I may necessarily want, but it is important for the roleplay. Now, as a child, we were known for our leadership skills. Because we, you know, from a young age, knew how to lead men. Um, eventually, we were... Uh, one of these, was it? Uh, there's one of these. This is... Uh, I think it's... No, nah, we didn't do the alley, alley gangs. 
Um, we spent time in the market and uh, Canvaneers. We essentially did what our parents expected of us and began to learn, you know, trade. Now, as we grew up, we trained with the infantry because I'm going to be an infantry in this. Uh, eventually, when we uh, set out before our uh, life adventure, uh, which of these do I want? To do? I can't remember which one it was. I, I have like did have like a predetermined. I don't remember what it was. You know, we defeated an enemy in battle. I believe that's the one I'm meant to go for. Yes, it is. Uh, and we're starting our adventure at the age of 20. Because, yeah, so the older we get, the more unspent stuff. But I'm perfectly fine with being 20. Now we get to pick our banner. Now, as much as I like the Roman red, I and I like the Roman black, we're actually going to be going for a nice, um, more like grayish color. Actually, no, 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 no. I go for that too often. I like, kind of like the blue. Not big fan of the pink. I love pink, but it just doesn't. I don't think it fits this as well as it could. Yeah, we're gonna be blue. We're gonna be flitting around anyway, and we're gonna have the Roman sigil because, because of course we are. Right, our family name. Now I need to quickly tap out of the game for this one. Um, we're gonna be called the, the uh, Vindex family. Now my name is going to be Gaius because Gaius is the best Roman name in my opinion. Gaius and Gaius. It's going to be Gaius Clodius Vindex. Didn't say spell Clodius. Yep, Gaius Clodius um, Vindex. Uh, so we are 20 years old and we're with Clan Vindex. I can now close the uh, that. We're going to be playing on Bannerlord. And the only thing I'm going to change is. I, I normally would change. You know what? No, we'll leave it on realistic. We can't catch people. We can't catch people. That's my own fault. But here we are. How beautiful do we look in that uh, Loricum Sengamata? Loricum Sigmata. I'm not going to be able to pronounce the, uh, the uh, names perfectly when it comes to the, uh, the, you know, the armor and whatnot. But I will do my best. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we're going to be playing on Bannerlord. Of course we are. Let's go. Now, because we're playing on this mode, we just start straight away and we don't have to worry. We get one extra thing and a thing. Uh, we're going to go with one here. One there and one there, because that makes sense. Let's have a look at ourselves. We are Gaius Clodius. Uh, we have got ourselves a Hero Scutum, which is this lovely thing. We've got ourselves some Pila and a Gladius type Charis. Or Charis. Let's, uh, and we've also just immediately gained a level, which is going to give me an extra point here, which I'm going to go and throw into athletics. So, the first things first, there is a smithing guild. This is where you buy all the specific goods. There are, will go, some goods will filter into the uh, trade area. Like, scutums you can pick up very early in here. Um, like, this is pretty much my favorite scutum as well. I will not be paying for it because I cannot afford it, but that is pretty much my favorite scutum. Uh, there's also a plain scutum, which looks ugly in my opinion. Uh, but yes, this is where you will pick up. Once you join a faction as a mercenary, and I believe it, as a vassal and stuff like that, you get access to more stuff in the smithing guild as it serves you here. Available to only those in service of Legatus, and then, you know, so on and so forth. Now, we are going to be recruiting... Very, I'm going to be recruiting a very specific type of army early on. Because my goal is to get married and to grow, we are going to be trying to fight battles. These are the guys I'm not going to be recruiting. Uh, they are the Auxiliary Cohortalis... Probatus. They are a decent unit, but they are cohorts. Uh, so they are uh, they're auxiliary. Now, we are a true Roman. Oh my god, those Britannian raiders should have attacked me. There we go. We now have a Le uh, we now have a Legeo Trio, which is essentially a basic Roman legionary. Eventually, they will become uh, Miles Novicus, uh, Miles, Miles Peritus, and Aquilia Cohortus, which is, uh, you know, me butchering every single Latin word in that sentence, but essentially these are the ones I'm going to be going with because I prefer them as like, when it comes to in combat, they seem to perform better at what how I fight. So to start our legend, we're of course just going to be grab gathering as many troops as we can, and then we're going to attack a bunch. Oh my god, the barbarians around here are really, very really big. Uh, we're going to be doing our best to grow and then attack as many people as necessary. Now, because I did the sandbox start, I don't get, you know, loads and loads of relations with people, so it's going to be harder for me to pick up troops. And I say that, and I've just found myself the Leonag... Leonari... Uh, 
Legionarius Evoc uh, uh, Evoctus, which is essentially the special tree of the Romans, like the noble tree. And as you can see, they eventually become really cool looking. Their only problem is they cost 200. So I could spend 690 and get myself only a few units. I'm not going to waste my money on them yet. They are very good, but they are expensive, and I would caution you against starting with them. As a, Oh yeah, I also need to kick myself off my horse, because um, yeah, we don't use horses here, boys. We also have no food, which is going to, of course, affect the morale of the party, and also get them to shout at me. I am probably going to actually have to uh, hire some auxiliary to begin with. Uh, I am going to immediately sell my horse as well as a... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I will sell... I will sell the reins, but I will not sell the horse. Uh, we're going to buy some food. We're going to buy... So for now, we're going to start with 15 of each. Okay, we're going to start with 10 of each. Keep those. Uh, I will still get some money, which is really good. And you know what? We will hire the uh, auxiliary. Because the auxiliary are necessary for now, we will hire them. I will be intending to get rid of them very quickly because I don't really like them that much. Or I'll promote them to archers and we'll just use them as archers. They are actually decent as archers, but the crossbowmen are better. The crossbowmen, which you guys have not seen yet, of course. Um, but essentially, we're going to be spending the first few parts just getting our, you know, units. Oh, I, really want another. I really want that because they are... You know what? I'm going to splurge. They're a little bit more expensive, but you know what? 13 versus 16, we got this. Mess with us. Yeah, mess with you. You want to mess with a Roman. A true Roman. Shields, now, in this mod, they actually do a very good job of uh, displaying um, shield walls. Get moving. Move. And also, Pila in this game are absolutely fucking deadly. With them. So are, oh, gee, yeah, so are most of the enemies, though, to be fair. Lads, 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 lads. Help. Also, Gladius is only a frost weapon. I am very much not used to frosting weapons. I'm used to weapons that I can, you know, slash with. But lads. Lads, my shield's only going to, you know, be as useful. There we go. There we go. Perfect. We currently have lost no men. But as you can see, the uh, the uh, these guys only killed three. These killed six, and the Avocatus uh, or the uh, Avocati uh, killed quite a few. Also, need to make sure I set this up. There we go. Now, we've, of course, leveled up quite a bit, but we're not going to pay for that. That would be stupid. I've not got money. Um... Ooh. I normally picked wrapped handles, but I kind of want to take that for a change. Uh, we're also going to max out... Our... So we are going to be playing as the main logistin, log logistician of this party for the entire game, probably. Because I want to build up my basic stats. Also, you got new recruits? Cool. Uh, right, so we're going to go find ourselves some more Babori. And this is going to be how we spend our first couple of like first couple of months. Just killing Babari. Um... This is now this as you can see this is the reason why i like to actually like in the if i was uh, playing on my own i would change this no not recruitment difficulty sorry uh, uh map movement to very easy because these basic peasants are getting away from me i can't catch them and it's truly depressing so let's go upgrade these to slingers and we'll upgrade these guys to these guys who for some reason i like Oh yeah, these are younger men. These are older men. I believe that's how that classifies. They have pretty much the same armor, but they're just um, a little bit better. Problem is, it does not help me speed up and fight. <laughs> Hello, traveler. All right. You want to fight the Romans? The Romans want to fight you. Warriors, forward, onwards. And we need to move into Warriors! position where we are a little bit more. Okay, the good. They're down there. Move, move, get moving. All right, lads, you ready to do some killing? Even though you guys have way better looking shields than me. Front men, make a shield wall. Infantry, on okay, a little bit further down. We'll Forward. get the arrows here. 
But this is also the reason I don't like the um, auxiliary. Because the auxiliary don't have peeler. They have... Well, they have boring-ass spears. So they can't actually do like what the Romans are most known for, which is the devastating throwing of throwing of pillar. Bows, spread out. Oh shit, that was not useful. There we go. I'm gonna do what any true Roman would do. We're gonna hold formation and just hope we can massacre them. I'm going to try and pick the flank up. Oh, I died. And all my men died. That did not work. So, what did I lose? I don't think I lost anything. But I leveled up, so that's what counts. Uh, yeah, that was that was not a very good battle. Um, that was, um, I believe, the de definition of an absolutely fucking abysmal battle. Uh, let's get my leadership up as well. See, so, yeah, as you can see, you can get very unlucky, and I think the pro, I think one thing is I may end up just putting the game movement on very easy because my luck with uh, like it's really hard to catch barbarians in this, and like anybody without um, you know, without um, some something helping you. Ah, my army is made of. Just a goddamn auxiliary. Woe is me, indeed, everyone. Fucking hell. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, they stole literally everything but my horse. Awesome. Ah. As they say, shit happens, but, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll figure it out. You prick. And see, he left the auxiliary because the auxiliary is a shit. Oh, in this instance, I need them, so. Yeah, he's going to go there, so I'm not even going to bother. Let's just keep going north. Um, and Bavari, we're not going to... We're not going to be able to deal with them right now. Yeah, I think we just got very unlucky. There was a massive portion of them, and I thought we were... I honestly didn't expect us to have problems. But there are tournaments, and the tournaments in this are very, very fun. Especially the Roman ones. Or the Empire ones. The Empire ones are very interesting. So let's uh, join them. Sometimes you'll get Roman, like, Empire stuff. Uh, like, you know, like the stuff they added. And sometimes you'll just get the bare generic stuff. But uh, it's fucking really cool either way. Get fed. There we go, two down. What the fuck? Who hit me? Son of a bitch. I don't even know who hit me there. To be fair, I do have very low health. So let's, on that note, let's just chill here. But yeah, what we're going to be doing is essentially building our nation, building ourselves up, and then we will start doing mercenaries when we can. Um. Oh, I up up upgraded athletics. Um. Let me get morning exercise for a change and just get everyone, you know, being able to move quicker. Because when we're moving in shield wall, it'd be nice if we moved a little bit quicker. Ugh, I don't like auxiliary troops, but we'll take them. It's fine. I haven't got a fucking choice. I do not want cavalry because they're expensive and I can't afford them. You're not fine. There's 14 there. Come here, Babari. I need to kill you. you. But eventually we'll get to a point where we won't need uh, to recruit. Footman! Sorry, we won't need... Um, Whoa, no! Like we won't have any issues when it comes to fighting and stuff like that. Worry onwards! Get moving! And sometimes you do need to tell them to move or they won't put themselves in a proper formation. Put our shield at the back here. If I go forward a little bit. Yep, I can cover. I'm going to say I can cover them a little bit. You can also tell who the um, who the auxiliary are by the fact they had the brass helmets to, to the iron. Oh, that was a fucking shit, bro. That one wasn't. Yeah, normally I don't charge. I just let them attack me, but... Yeah, in this instance, probably smart to just, you know... Oh, fuck, I missed that. There we go. All right, we lost no one. See? 
Sometimes barbarians are easy. Sometimes they're really not. Uh, oh, these are better boots. I don't like them, but I'll take it because they're better than what I'm wearing. And right now, apparently, I goddamn need that. Ooh, 14 barbar barbari. Mess with us. Mess with you and I'll get money. One man, hit move! Attack! Move out! Shit, that was mine. No, 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 no. Fucking don't you dare. No, don't anyone pick that up. That's mine. Jail wall now! Damn it, I'm not throwing high enough. Warriors! Give him Fucking hell. charge. We we'll take anywhere near enough out in that in the initial uh kill, kill of all volley. As long as I only lose like auxiliary, I don't give a shit. Nope, I lost two of each. It happens. Renown is gonna go up very quickly though, so it's okay. I'm not gonna bother promoting my troops until I can keep them alive. Because it's just going to be a waste of money in the end of the day. Cheers, game. I mean, cavalry is... Actually, you know what? I don't really care about the cavalry for the Romans like it. Oh, sorry, the Empire troops. No, I don't want you. I'm, 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 I just do not want... I have decided we are not getting uh, auxiliary anymore. They are, they, they are proving to be not as good as my uh, Elum-based infantry. But yes, uh, this general campaign is going to probably last quite a long time as well. Uh, it'll go until the, I can no longer keep the mod working more than likely. Uh, it'll be three parts a week just like the other ones. And I am going to be recording heavily in advance. So if you do have any tips and tricks, do still let them let me know. I will still be able to implement them at some point. But early on, I will be, you know, focusing on, um, you know, just continuing to get make sure we've got a nice backlog. Because I've got a bunch of Let's Plays I've started and I'm... You know, need to make sure I uh, keep ahead on all of them and not just some of them. Um, let's get you up to 15. Let's get you up to 15. Awesome, I'll get a grand. Eventually, we will start going to the, uh, the Smithing Guild and start being able to buy stuff. Uh, the missions do seem to be... I, seem, I, I don't seem to get very lucky with missions. Uh, they I always seem to get ones that are like, do this or like... You know, it's, uh, uh, or like caravan ambush is like, well, you don't have enough men for a caravan ambush. It's like, cheers. Kick me while I'm down, why don't you? Now, what type of troops are these? The Batani bandits. I don't think I fought them before, so let's go have a, let's go play with them. Or at least let's attempt to go play with them. Worst case scenario, guys, I may just input the thing on if I think it. Right, there we go. I didn't want to fight both of them, but I'm more than willing to fight one of them. And now that we have a now that we have a certain amount of troops, we're now able to, you know, deploy properly. Raise your warriors! And now, yes, look at this. This I like. Well, I don't like when there's auxiliary in it. Also, go over there. The reason I'm telling them to move is so they actually, you know, fill the gap at the front. The peeling will still be thrown and everything will still work out beautifully. It's just now we look good. Now, I don't know what, how, what these bandits are like and if they're heavily armored or whatnot. I don't, oh, shit. Oh, they have those type of spears. Okay. Given that the vast majority of my men have uh, peeling, didn't have a problem. Good man! Yeah, we got rid of half their army before they got to us. Because we're all, like, fucking heavy-ass shields. Like, how are they going to stop me, you know? Oh, damn. This dude dick has got a spear, has he? There we go. Perfect. A bent, jagged, throwing spear. Eh, we'll take all the stuff, and we'll just sell it, as I normally do. Right. Oh, I gained a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. Now, I don't know when my stewardship will start leveling up decently. I'm pretty sure we need like a different, like a bunch of different types of food before it does. But I will start, but I'm, I'm, I will start trying to get some more food and whatnot. Um, and some horses, obviously, to go with them. 
But uh, yeah, this first part's also going to be about 40, 50 minute part, probably 45, uh, just to give you guys a nice big part for the intro. Yeah, we're never going to be able to catch anyone with our fucking speed. We need to level up our scouting as a priority. I'm going to start putting levels into that next. Caravan ambush, you're not going to let me do this, are you? Well, and who would... Yep, don't have enough fucking troops, god damn it. Oh. Don't want to go in the smith. Oh, though I will say that you can in this, you can build Pugio, which are the daggers. You could build Gladii, which have, you know, you can get some cool looking Gladius blades and whatnot. Um, you can also build Peeler. You can have a weighted Peeler and normal Peeler. And then there's short swords, which come with a variety of grips with different, like, you know, just two different types of blades. And then single edged swords, which like Zephos, essentially. Like, there are a cool, like, a cool set of stuff there, and I'm assuming there's probably even more stuff as well. Let's sell all that, and I will buy... You have no stompers, but you do have a workhorse and a mule. The mule is 100, and a workhorse is 100. I'll just take the workhorse. Yeah, I'm not... Not paying for meat, so that's a bit too expensive. Um, yep, let's leave here. Nothing uh, we can get from there. So far, we've got loads of troops to upgrade. Uh, we'll upgrade all of you to there, and we'll upgrade all of them to that. So now our troops are a little bit better, so we can, you know, probably do a little bit better in fights. All right, let's get ourselves straight to another town. This is the only thing. We're going to be going from town to town quite frequently early on. Oh, 15 Bavari. The problem is they, yep, they run faster than me. You have to be able to catch them, and we just can't catch them. Uh, I'm not going to help him. You know what, guys? I apologize. For, I apologize for doing this. If you guys don't like it, I will take it off, obviously, as soon as I think. But we'll leave everything on realistic, but I'm going to put the movement bonus on very easy. Because, like, yeah, that extra, like, actually, you know, let's just do easy and then we'll see how he is. So easy is a 5.3. 5.3 is already a more than a more than enough to make us much better off. It's just the fact that we're slight away from them. Eventually, I will turn it back off. But I, hopefully you guys understand, like, we can't really get anything done in this campaign if we don't have that speed. And it'll be a pretty boring campaign if we don't have the speed. So hopefully you guys don't mind. If you do mind, well... Oh, well. Uh, you're a die. Oh, God, you're an absolutely horrible person. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, I don't have anything to trade. Nobody wants missions, so let's keep going into the Blue Romans. So the Blue Romans are the Western Imperium. They have the Julii, the Nautai, the Manli, the Vergani, the Romuli, the Velari, and a bunch of other dickheads. Um... They are currently at war with a bunch of people. The Northern Empire is led by Gaia, uh, Gaius Pompeius Lucas, who is a Genai, and then a bunch of other people. And then last but not least, we have the West... Nope, not the Western. Uh, we have the Southern, who is led by the Gaia, as usual. And then a bunch of... Uh, it's got the Corneli, which is like the main one. Uh, main faction as well. I don't know who we'll serve to begin with, but I'll probably just be... I'll probably flip between the bunch of them just to get myself, you know, some uh, levels. Yeah, see, now, like, we're still just slightly faster than them. Which means, yeah, it's fucking... Yeah, we're gonna... I am gonna put it on to very easy because it's just... Like, I want to be able to do battles and I don't like the idea of, like, not being able to get hit enemy... Ar like, hit rebel armies just because I'm not running slightly fast enough. You got a problem. And it will also lose a lot of them to the uh, the AI if we do as well, if we don't do this as well. So early on, like I said, we'll do it this way. Right, I now have archers. Wow, I have slingers who... Eh. Meh. I can make them into archers soon, though. Forward. Move out. We just keep doing them, you know, do that a little bit with them. There we go. Yeah, I do apologize, guys, but hopefully you guys understand. I don't want it to lower the difficulty of the game, but I want to make it, you know, so we have stuff to do. Also, I won't need to do anything in this fight, so my guys are just going to have fun. All of my
my men now are uh, Legionari. Which means they all have people. Aww. He took my kill away from me. Like I said, literally had no reason to do anything. Right. So, now that we can actually catch enemy armies, we're going to be, uh, having a little bit more fun. Because, you know, we actually have a, some, like, a semblance of the ability to actually catch them. Now, of course, like I said, we will take it off. I, I will not harp on this for too long. It's just, I do feel bad doing it, but at the same time, I want to actually play the game as well, so. Sometimes you just have to accept the minor losses to accept the bigger ones, you know, so you can actually get somewhere. Also, if you ever set your men up in this, always, like for me, it's always better for you to set your um, formations after the uh, start. And then do the wiggle, and do the amazing wiggle technique. Get moving! There we go. Bows, spread the field. You guys haven't like done anything. You are like your shit. What is what I'm trying to say? Look at them all, beautiful men with a brand. Like they're, uh, I think that's a log Loricum Hanmata, the uh, chainmail. Yeah. These guys have shields. Look at them go. Fuck. The one I aimed at got hit. Infantry! <laughs> Get wrecked, you guys. Okay. I will take all of that. How are we doing fan-wise? We are still quite far away. Uh, I will probably try and keep playing. and uh, in, I will probably just keep this part as long as it takes to get me to uh, the next clan tier. I might make this a very long part, and I'm completely okay with that because it's the first part. Why not? We're just armless shepherds. Yeah, you are. I agree. Armless. Uh, I want that 20, though. That six, have lost. I lost my interest with them. Let's fight them. There's 20 of them, lads. Um, Arrow! Loose formation! You guys... Like, I feel like you guys don't fucking do anything. I know slings work, because I've seen slingers do shit, but these guys just don't seem to do jack shit. Ah, beautiful. I'm still my young self. Feels weird not having a beard. I'm pretty sure all my characters have beards. Yeah, got a kill. Good. Oh yeah, they are doing. They are slinging things. And these are my favorite types of bandits to fight because they're not as strong as the other bandits. Apart from the, they're, they're obviously they're stronger than the Barbori, uh, but they're not. They're um, they're not stronger like than the other bandits I've ran into. But lads, we did like get one of our men wounded, but only one. Not that many. I also leveled up, so let's get my scouting up. Um, I can also upgrade all of these. So we'll upgrade these finally to an... Oh, we finally have an archer. And all of my guys have leveled up to miles, which means they're even better now, but they do require more pay. But to be fair, 89 pay a day is still not bad for the type of men we have. We are doing very good. I I'm not going to do hideouts yet, because hideouts are a little bit of a pain. I love these dryatic raiders. They're like my favorite things to fight. Leadership level up. Combat tips every day of the week. Like, this isn't too bad. Like, raise the meek. But this is just better. Yes, we'll get ourselves to our uh, next uh, thing and we'll be golden. Warriors! Raise your shield! Warrior! Forward! Move out! Look at them. Oh, look at them. Finally, some of them have uh, Lorcum Segmentata. 
I apologize. Again, I apologize for those of you who can probably pronounce it properly. I struggle with pronunciations for some reason. I legitimately do not know why. My mouth just like I get like tongue tied when I'm trying to say certain words. Damn it! I've overthrown. There we go. I'm the leader. I needed to get a kill. Like, it would just... Ash, you know what? Prefer. I'm not going to level them until they're all ready to level. They're going to level as goddamn brothers. Uh, right. Throwing. I'm actually going to take Shield Breaker because our weapons do a lot of damage to shield already. But if we can make everyone in our units do more damage to shields, shields are going to break left, right, and center to us. And it's going to be fucking glorious. Now, we will need to find ourselves someone to wed. Um, and we will need to find ourselves a considerable amount of gold to, you know, pay their parents to let them wed to us. Uh, Nightrunner, of course. As you all know, I am a, I am a big proponent of Nightrunner. As I think that, like, pretty much no enemy, like, runs very fast at night. So it's... Go there. Infantry! Wall! Now! One man! Move! Move out! Forward! Bow! Throw! Bowman! Move! Lose formation! That's right, dickheads. One try and get. Try moving. and fight us when we're like this. You're gonna have to go through the water, which means we have an advantage. Oh, fuck off! I actually ranged that correctly. I don't range. I am very bad at ranging with range uh, with throwing weapons, as you guys probably know from my uh, uh, Life of a Smith campaign. Warriors, move out! Archer, onward! Oh shit! Yeah, but these guys hit like a fucking freight train. I have a leg. I have a fucking like really big set of armor, but these guys still like. They can still hit for it, you know? There we go. Okay, we did lose one of our miles, which we've been down from 15, but... You know what? In honor, I'm gonna recruit... I'm gonna upgrade the rest of these. Look at those beautiful guys. Whoa. And then we're going to get ourselves to a city so we can sell all this shite and then buy some food. You know, and uh, just be generally good. Uh, is our stewardship leveling? Our stewardship is now beginning to level. Perfect. Right, let's trade. Uh, sell everything we don't need. No, 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 no. Forgot to keep those. Uh, we'll also upgrade all of these to just 10. Now, the game is going to say, we're over our board route. But what we're going to do is we're going to do this really cool thing where I just buy a bunch of stumper horses and it's not going to be a problem. And then we're going to sell everything and still get four grand. Now, are we a clan tier two? No. Okay. Getting clan tier two may have may take longer than I was expecting. So this may indeed end up being an hour part. Because uh, I also need to rest. Ooh, I can automatically get level two. Ooh, I can have one extra troop as well. There you go. Ooh, and there's a tournament. Let's uh, definitely do the tournament. Yes, I want those greaves. If we can get these greaves, this is going to upgrade our grieve game for like a long time. Like, I don't think I'll have to get new greaves for a long time. <laughs> If I'm remembering what the Greaves are. I don't like when it's a big cluster fuck. Because, yeah, my team always ends up fucking losing. But we're, we're going to be through in the next round, so it doesn't matter. I just got stabbed in the fucking head. Yeah, they gave me the good world. We need to get this dickhead down first. There we go. Uh, being on the horse isn't going to help. Oh, piss. Okay, good. Okay, we need to make sure, I'm going to say, we need to make good use of our ally. Pick up that feeling. I throw that, I threw that so bent. Okay, good. Now we have a very high chance of winning. 
because they hit like a fucking freight train. Yes, the first time I've ever won a tournament with those Greaves on the line in this in this mod. Very happy with myself. Uh, we're going to get scouting up again because uh, we don't have very high uh, cunning, so we need to make sure we're pumping skills into that so we can start uh, the upgrading of the movement. Let's have a look at these Greaves. So they are a lot better, and look at those. They do not suit our armor because, you know, they're better than what we're wearing. Also, I like the fact that this mod put that there. Romans didn't wear braces because they fucking didn't. And Hollywood and like other storytellers and like other like like people who like go shit about the Romans like yes the Romans had braces they fucking didn't like go watch the Metatron go watch um the history of everything podcast I think it is they'll all tell you the same like why the fuck would the Romans wear braces they just didn't it just wasn't what they did also we are going to need to get some auxiliary because I can't find crossbowmen to save my life if we can start finding crossbowmen I will start getting rid of my auxiliary. Okay, game. Just, you know, mock me, why don't you? Uh, how long do we need now? Okay, so we could do a couple of tournaments. So, yeah, this will probably be an hour part. I'm okay with that. It will mean I can only record one today because I need to go get some food. So I was not thinking I was going to end up doing this because, you know, I'm... I'm just, you know what? Just fucking get a legionary. Right, Arena, what you got for me? A cured studded leather armor. So just basic stuff. Yeah, sometimes it'll throw basic stuff. Sometimes it'll throw the proper, like, the stuff from the actual mod. too bad on horseback to be fair i don't I, I don't know why i'm trying to play this mod like with an infantry but it's just so much more fun you know having a scutum and throwing shit at the enemy and oh my god the other cavalry bars died oh i'm a fucking lion are you kidding me right let's, we're gonna have to be very very specific about this yeah i fucked it well that was unfortunate um but uh yeah i got unfortunately my allies just did not do a good job but hey, I have really good grief, so I'm happy. Wrong way, Joe. We're going to go that way. Ooh, no, we're not. We're going to go kill them. Hello, Babari. Yeah? I want you to surrender. But you didn't want to, so therefore we're going to kill you. Shield, wall, now arrows! Loose formation! Now, so we could, like I said, even when you, like, Infantry do this, like, even when you have, like, a double move. line, you will need to tell the men to move. There we go. And then they'll fix themselves. Moving. I would also recommend just moving them forward so they actually, you know, fill gaps in. Look at this. Beautiful. Ooh, I get. I, I eventually will start to get really on point with my throwing. Yeah, I'm just gonna run at you. I don't really mind you fighting too close to me. I'm the commander of this formation. I can break rank if I feel like it. 1.3 renown. I'm not gonna bother taking any uh, thing. And we'll do no. We'll do no upgrades for now. We did level up again. Oh no, we didn't. We got this. Uh, swift strike. Yeah, has to be swift strike. We don't use blunt weapons. But sometimes you just have to pick the skills that make sense. Eventually, we'll throw ourselves under someone and begin building a family so we can then start, you know, having a bunch of parties via with family members, using family members instead of, you know, using uh, our own men. Like, instead of using companions who have got a much better role. Uh, what we're we looking at for this. So, the tournament will help us decently. So, if we can win this tournament, we'll also get some leather armor again. Ah, so an old cavalry round. I might have a chance now. Because I'm not the worst at, you know... Oh, shit, that's my ally. Thank God I didn't hit him. I think sometimes it really does depend on what type of, um, like, troops have decided to... Yeah, that was my fault. I, uh, I saw what I did wrong there, and uh, I'm just going to go over here and pretend that didn't happen. But what I am going to go do is going to go down to what I believe is based on the Carthaginian. They are called the Az... Oh, yeah, they're the, the Quittish Republic. I'm assuming this is basically like Carthaginians. 
I believe as much. I'm, I'm, I've never been like I, I've pretty much stuck to um, Empire Land when I've been playing this mod for like the first like time. So I didn't want to, you know, go too far. But let's actually go explore this a little bit and see what their uh, unit trees are like. They have Sacred Band. Oh yeah, they are fucking. They are, and then they have these guys, which are their African troops, I believe, instead of their um, Phoenician. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm a Roman, so I would never hire them, but, um, you know, that's interesting. Mess with us. I gained to clean. You know, I'm just gonna send my troops. Didn't even need to waste my time. Yeah, there will become a point where we probably don't need to do fights, but, uh,. I'm very interested in, like, exploring this land a little bit before we start, you know, signing up to do different things. Also, running around here is going to help my scouting as well. So that's still Sacred Band. Aha, then they have these troops who go up to this and this. But where do they get hoplites from? I know they get hoplites, not just Sacred Band. So this is really interesting. There we go, the hoplites. Yep, so they got hoplites, all these guys, which is really cool. Like, uh, there's a, look, there are so many different unit trees in this. It's really cool. Um, I want to see what their tournaments are like quite badly, actually. A Grey Lunaphorax. That's probably going to be pretty cool, cool looking. Yeah, I hit him good. Good. Okay, we killed that hot flight. Uh, wow, it's a 1v1v1. Oh my god, slashing weapons are great. Oh shit. That's right, you have to teach, you have to let a Roman teach you how to fight properly. Shit. My aim is fucking horrible. Why do I feel like you have a stabby sword? Yeah, you have a stabby sword. Go on, teammate. Fuck him up. And you fucking failed me. Note to self, these tournaments for some reason are easier than fucking Roman tournaments. Oh my god, I have a hot flight. Oh shit, yep, yeah, that was mine. Such a fucking satisfying sound as well. That's so fucking cool. An Aspis or uh, a hot blonde. I can't remember if it's an Aspis or a hot blonde. I'm pretty sure it's a hot blonde, but I know they have two different names depending on regions. I think we got ourselves a grey Lunacorax. Have a look what it looks like. I don't intend to wear it, but I want to know what it looks like because it's not as good as my armor. Oh, I can't believe I ever put that on my skin. It looks disgusting. What is the best armor you can buy here? Yeah, that looks pretty basic. Like it looks good, but it's not my my type of thing. Yeah, I, I I I'm I'm much happy with the Roman armor. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's an Aspis. See, I knew it. Not as dumb as I look. Army of poachers, can we do this? I'm guy. So do you have a problem? Yes, I can do it. Consider them dead. Because I'm good at my job. Probably. Why couldn't you send me to a close village, eh? Ridiculous. How is our... Yep, we're up to 34. Beautiful. We are leveling nice and quickly, which is what we like to see. This will hopefully be the last battle before we hit... Uh, hit um, our renown cat, our renown, so we can get to um, tier 1. Move out! Move! 
Onwards! Bowmen! Fred the first one, man! Shields forward! We are going to need to use shields forward because they will have bows and I intend to one just kind of sit Boom. and let them shoot at me. Because if we do, we will win. Guaranteed. Because I only have units who throw spears. Or throw peel them. Then we're going to be much better off. I'm also kind of regretting recording this an hour. But uh, it means I love you guys, you know. I try. I, I'm I'm happy with you guys, you know, and all that shit and bollocks, whatever. Warrior! We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to advance. Look that way. Hey, everyone! Footmen, hear me! Oh, I didn't even engage. Archers. Oh, okay. Okay. Archers. Yeah. Okay, formation. Go there and then hold. Okay, now we're close enough to throw Pelum. Yeah, I'm gonna charge. There are any archers. As long as we keep our spears, up, our shields up, we're fine. There we go. Damn it! We are in so close to leveling up. All I can say is middle finger to you. It means I have to do one more fucking thing. Uh, we leveled up, so let us get... Athletics, because we're, we're, near, we're near the cap of athletics, so leveling that up makes sense in the terms of, you know, means we'll actually get to use it. Uh, yeah, we're going to go this way. We're going to keep exploring. We're going to get ourselves back to Empire Territory soon, though, because we are going to serve the Empire for a little bit before we end up, you know, not betraying them, but, you know, deciding that we're stronger than them and, you know, doing the dickish thing of uh, taking over. What mission have you got for me here? Nothing good. What type of troops you got? Uh, so you got oh, they have swordsmen as well. Fucking hell, they have a lot of different troop types down here. That's so cool. This mod is really fun. I like how the only things that don't seem to change are the Sturgeons. Like, they are still the Sturgeons. Okay, uh, Warrior's Diet. As you guys know, that is my go-to thing there. Okay, we're gonna quickly kill these nine by Bari by, uh, just simply letting my, back, my men do it. Yeah. Somehow one of them got wounded. I have no fucking clue how. There we go. We're finally clan tier two. We can now have 51 troops. We're also going to um, celebrate by leveling up all of my troops. We now have a max level Legio Legionaris Aquilia Cohortalis. Which uh, they look fucking sick, if I'm honest. Way cooler than us, but uh, we will get there. But unfortunately, guys, we're going to have to find ourselves to the, si the closest city so we can end this part. Uh, got ourselves some good level. I... Oh, yes, I did pick up the leadership stuff. That's good. But yeah, unfortunately, guys, we're going to have to end this part here. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. See you guys then.